Alright, hey, this is Super Ninja Man with DinosaurTheRobotEye.com, and welcome to part two of the, um, what was it, modeling a low poly katana for Mountain Blade series. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to make a scabbard. First, I'm going to, I forgot, um, last tutorial to include, um, you don't want to scale these four pairs of vertices, um, because you want to make, you want to make the, uh, Say if you're gonna take a cross section from, like here, you want it to make it at least a rep like a good representation of this cross section or that cross section, any of the cross sections before this point, because they're all practically the same. Um, because, I mean, if we spend so much time making sure that, yeah, all that was right, we should make sure that's right too. Um, also, uh, make sure to make these. Uh, this little mirrored pair of edges hard because that creates the seam from the stabbing point to the cutting edge which is um, quite important okay so I believe that's all um, let's get started so you I used to go from here G extract along the normal but these first group, this first group isn't flat along. Where's the flat? Oh, there it was. It's not flat along the Z. And you need it to be. So I mean, it makes it it makes life so much easier. Also, I don't like the way that looks circularized. Circularized. I always have a time with that word. Okay, so we're gonna select this instead. Extract along the Z. Move it forward, just, uh, actually it should go forward, point four, because that's the exact length of that. I forgot about that. See, that comes in handy. Uh, scale uniform. You want to make sure the Habaki fits inside of it, but you want to make it smaller than the, uh, the thing you're copying it from. Um, at least that's how I believe they were made. If not, that's how I make them. Uh, I feel it's nice. I know the I know it's bigger than the Baki because the Baki was like what slid into it and locked it in. Um, all right, so then you're gonna move this face, the one facing the uh, point. You're gonna move it a little past the point uh, because you know when you bend it, it's going to go a little further or it's going to um, shorten a little bit. Okay, then you oh, let's soften these edges. Harden it soft, and then select this group with G. Um, cut into three. Connect those. Uh, select all these vertices that aren't uh, part of this first group because this is where we're going to bend. And if you remember with the um, cross guard, the suba, and whatever, uh, we didn't want to bend that. We want to keep that part straight. So we're going to do the same here. Uh, select these two vertices so that you get the midsection or the the midpoint between. Um, that. Um, that way it's the center of the scabbard. I don't know if you select it right here. That'll be safe. I don't care to try it. Um, and then select the midpoints here and here so that you get it at the midpoint there and if the, um, the section's long enough that once you, once you bend it, I mean you have a a higher degree of you know wiggle room than we had when we bent the sword. Um, then bend, or then select right here to make an x-axis. Right click it, um, and then you want to make sure the entire sword is encased within the scabbard because, you know, that's the whole point of it. Um, use middle mouse, you can do stuff. Okay. Okay. Um, yeah, that's nice. Okay, cool. Um, that's it's basically over. Oh, okay, never mind. Did it fit? I'm just showing the hard edge through the thing because Wings 3D is a jerk. All right, connect these two edges, or these two vertices make an edge. Cut that into two. Connect it with these outside edges or outside vertices to make um, you know, just that. Move this along the normal. You don't want it too big because you know that's not accurate. Um, I think. I usually make it about 0.8. Select all these outside edges, or select all the um, edges connecting to that vertice. Cut into two. 
uh, select them so you have a nice little loop right here. Um, let's select that loop. Scale uniform. Let's make it 150. Ah, uh, all right. Yeah, yeah. That looks nice. See, we're already done. Um, and with what is it? 41 polygons. It, I think it comes out to be. It doesn't come out to be 82 tries because I have some tries in my thing. Uh, 78 tries, so you have a lot of wiggle room with your poly count. You can add a lot of little details. Like we could inset this, make sure you right click so that you inset the region so you, um, rather than inset each face. Okay, inset region, and then we're going to scale this, scale axis, right click it so you get to choose your axis because if you scale it along the x or the y, it's not you know on one of those axes it's perfectly. So you right click it, and then you select this um, seam going through it, this little edge. And then see then how you scale along that as the thing. Oh god, <laughs> it makes it. I mean, it's useful. Uh, let's make it about that wide, five percent. Okay, deselect it. Um, we're going to extrude these faces out uh, along the normal. This is just. I mean, this isn't a detail that I'm going to add in the final product. This is just showing you know, something that you could do with uh, your extra things, with your extra polygons. Move this down a little bit. Yeah. Okay, um, you don't necessarily have to do this part, but this just, it makes, uh, it helps smooth this whole process. Select these edges to connect, move this along their normals, and that should round it out really nicely. Well, maybe if I didn't make that thing so damn tall. Yeah, let's move this. That one, the Y. Yeah, this is the. This is the. Where the um, cord that secures it to your belt goes through. We're going to auto smooth because it should recognize that that's, you know, obviously not part directly. And it's real, also really fast, really easy. I like, my, I like the scabbards because hardly any effort at all. And that only adds, what, 10 polygons, and so it's going to have nearly all those for quads. It's going to make it 100 and probably like 3. Tessellate, triangulate, 102. Oh, that was so close. Okay, and then, you know, I'm not going to have that because I don't want to. Um, yeah, that's how you make a really quick, easy scabbard for a katana. You know, low poly for Mount Blade. Um, next time I'm going to be going over how I UV map models and how, or, oh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to hit the mic, um, how I lay down the basic texture. I'm going to be honest, I, I, I recently learned this UV way off of, um, I kind of borrowed it off of some knowledge I learned when I was, uh, learning Blender, which I ended up not using, because interfaces. Uh, anyway, because um, it makes it nice. I mean, it makes my UVs really easy to uh, modify. However, OpenBRF absolutely hates the way I do it. Let's rename this. Model X server now. Scabbard. Katana scabbard, so it's right next to the katana. Um, you, I mean, uh, OpenBRF hates it. It trees everything once you import it, all the little sections as different models. Um, I just get over it by you know, not letting it separate, but if you not let it separate and then you have it where it, I don't know, puts hard edges at the edges of where the models were, you, it, you have to select more options and then once you, if you deform it like to get the scabbard working in game to make it as a vertex animation, it doesn't really like it too much. Um, and it makes really ugly, like, explosions of vertices and edges, and it reconnects things in weird ways. However, I mean, I could show you the old way I used to do it, which is like, actually, I could probably do it right now. Done. And I would texture that. I mean, you have the blade, the 
bl the blunt end. These are the sides of right there. These are the faces of the tsuba. These are the sides of the tsuba. These are those little metal hunks. That's the habaki. I mean, it works really easy, real lazy. But I'm gonna show you a more proper way to do it. That BRF edit or be open BRF, not BRF edit. They haven't used that in years. Uh, absolutely hates. Um, let's delete this whole Let's default. Yeah. All right. Cool. Whoa. That's not even the right color. I wonder if it's the same color as the. Damn it. <laughs> is 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 it not using the? What? It was totally using whatever. I'll just turn that white too. What the? F no, I'm not letting you do that to me for text color. Kind of a light. Whoa, cancel. Let's see what the vertex color on this thing is. Nothing. What? I don't even understand what's going on then. Man. Whatever. It'll just be two different colors. Helps tell them apart. Alright, cool. This has been a uh, very quick and dirty how to make a scabbard for a katana. Um, I've already gone over everything that's going to be next time. Uh, yeah. Cool. I'll see you then.